This is a requested video. Time and time again, probably hundreds of times it's been requested of me. I'm finally getting around to doing it. Um, I've been in it for quite a while now. I know it works and doesn't work for what situations. People are going to recommend you, oh, you got to get this. It's a few grams lighter. This. What I'm going to recommend you is just the basic starter kit. Don't grow growing on to this starter kit and um, upgrading this starter kit until you've been into it at least a year through all the seasons so you see what will work for you. But what I'm going to recommend, I'm going to recommend from some companies. I'll give you links in the details of the actual item and the link. You can check it out. Decent prices, good product, time-tested product like this pack. If you could still get this pack, they're out of business now, but if you could still get this pack, that would be my pack of choice. But they're out of business, so I'm going to have another one. I'll show you in a minute. But as you can see, I'm in the process of packing for one trip here, for another trip here, for a fishing trip here, for an ultralight here, and then this. This is my Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend. I'm taking my pin rods, but I'm also bringing my Winston fly rod. I'm going to fish in, fish in style. Um, you'll see what's in there in the video. But uh, this is the pack I would recommend. The ULA circuit. I'll put a link in the detail. A link to everything I'm going to tell you about is in the details. I'm just going to give you the main items. You see other people using many other things, like just for instance, a fry pan. You don't need a fry pan to start up. You just need a cup, something that'll boil at least three cups of water because you will be eating dehydrated meals the majority of the time. You don't need a huge Leatherman. On the Leatherman, most of you are all gonna use just the blade, maybe the screwdriver, maybe. The Phillips screwdriver if you have trekking poles. But this is set up for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is set up for Monday, Tuesday. I'm taking Monday and Tuesday off. This is set up for a midweek at night. It will be a mid midweek next week, Wednesday or Thursday night hike. This is fishing during the week. I fish a couple days a week. And this is going to be ultralight coming up. And this is my bow and things for in between. But this is all my through night stuff. Through nights. There's a couple there. That's my flute there. So my bananas and cups back there. Ponderosa. But uh, in the details will be a link. Just the basic kit. Don't go into too much detail. You don't need a Cuban fiber to start off with. That's four or five years into it. Um, you don't need a marmot plasma sleeping bag. That's way down the road. Just what I'm going to suggest in the details down below will get you by. Stick with it for about a year. Go through all the seasons, various seasons. And if you live here by the San Gabriels, it's a great place to, to learn. Uh, go through all the seasons. See what seasons you like. For instance, the winter season, there's the added thing of crampons. Snowshoes, you don't, probably don't need those in Southern California. You might have used to 10, 15 years ago at Mount Baldy area, but uh, anymore, really doesn't snow anymore. But uh, let's see. So the basic things would be your pack, a ground cloth, a light tent, one man or two men. Um, a water filter, sleeping bag, and some lights, a stove, and something to cook with. That's your basic things and your hygiene. So like I said, check out the details down below. You'll see everything. I'll go over them on the computer with you now. Okay, these are your main things. Here's your tent. I recommend sixmoonsdesign.com Lunar Solo LE it's 30 ounces it's about $180 it's $30 extra seam seal but this tent if you buy this tent unless you're gonna go up to two person or three person you'll probably never have another need to, to go up 
unless you're in about four or five years and want to start getting into Cuban fiber. This tent is 30 ounces, very comfortable, mosquito proof, bug proof, rain proof, even works in the snow, not heavy snow, but some snow. It's got a bathtub floor, it's good for rain. Um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube, but this will take you to six months design. This will take you to the actual tent itself, tarp tent. You can pay $30 extra and get it seam sealed, which I highly recommend. Totally waterproof it. And uh, it's hard to do it yourself and do it right. This is Camp Moore. They're out of New Jersey. Um, they are tax free. You don't pay taxes if you're ordering it. And a lot of times you can get a code for free shipping or they run specials if you get on their emailing email list. This is a Tyvek ground, uh, ground sheet. Reason I say get it from here and not from here is not because it's cheaper, actually a couple dollars more. But this one, seven, seven foot by two foot and it has loops tied at four corners. So if you're on a summit like Baldy, Timber, Cucamonga, any of the summits, seven, eight thousand above, where there's no mosquitoes or deer flies, hot summer, you want a summer camp without your tent, if you have a, a regular Tyvek, you put that down, it'll shoot off with the wind, and you will never see that thing again. It'll be littering up the countryside down below, the mountainside, and the deer will be looking at it like, look at these humans, look what they're doing now. They're throwing more trash. Whereas this one, you can stake it down. Say your stakes are here, 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 and here. Put your stakes at an angle, a serious angle, so it will not be able to come off, and so the stakes don't hit your sleeping bag, and you can cowboy camp. No net, no tent, no anything, just under the stars. That's why I recommend that. When you get it, throw it in your washing machine. No soap, cold water. Wash it two or three times. Take it out, hang dry it. Do not put it in the dryer. Put it in the dryer, you'll ruin it. It'll be destroyed. It'll come out a sharp razor blade, all deformed, and unfoldable. It'll just be a paint scraper. Catmore, this is the Catmore website, and this is the actual Tyvek itself. Sleeping bag, I recommend the REI. From REI, get a member. It's $20 for a lifetime membership. You get all kinds of benefits and discounts and garage sales. And The North Face Cat's Meow, synthetic sleeping bag. So if you get it wet, no worries. Hang dry it. It's a little bit heavier than down. But until you know you're going to stay with this backpacking stuff, don't get into $500 sleeping bag. You can get this on sale for about $149. Get a 20 degree. I wouldn't go 30. I'd go down to 20 because this way you can be spring, summer, winter, fall. Summer, you can leave that thing unzipped. There's dual zippers, so you can leave the foot, foot box open or you can leave a zip down. It's a good bag. This will take you to REI. This will take you to the bag. For your backpack, I recommend the ULA Circuit. ULA Circuit is this one. Comes in camouflage, comes in blue, comes in green. It's a great pack. Uh, you can check out all the specs on it, but it's a aluminum frame, partial frame here, and a composite uh, tube. That bends and goes in. You can take the frame out, but I've never had a need to. You're talking grams. And with it, you have a much more support. And since it's a separate frame, it flexes with your body. I really like the frame on that. I've carried 45 pounds in that for an entire weekend, not had a problem. So that's your ULA circuit. This is the website. That's the name of the pack. Uh Sleeping pad, you will need a sleeping pad. I recommend REI, and if you're a member, everything you buy at REI gets tallied up onto a uh, computer, and they're a little bit more. You can search and get things cheaper, 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 but REI has got a, a no mess around, one year guarantee. You don't like it, take it back. They'll give you your money back or give you store credit. Give your money back if you get the receipt. But this, uh, oh yeah, the REI. So at the end of each year, they tally it up. Say you say you spent five hundred dollars. Say you spent two hundred dollars. January, February, March. About April, about April, you'll get store credit 
or, or a check if you request a check for 10% of that 200 so you get $20 so you can go get yourself a meal and a, a can of fuel for free or put that $20 towards something else I don't work for your REI I don't work for any of these companies these are just the things that I've found that work that work really good that I continue to use if you use look at my videos you'll see these same products in rotation but they're being used over and over and over so this is REI again and this is the Thermarest Z Light Solar Mattress. I have one of those. Let me show it to you. This is the Thermarest uh, Ridge Rest. This is a better, more comfortable, warmer. It's got this silver coating. This thing's been with me about six, seven years, but it's just bulky. It's light, but it's just bulky. Can't go in your pack. It takes up all your room. It's got to be outside. When you're outside, it snags on all the brush. So they've gone and they've improved on that. And they've come up with, let's see where it is. Okay, it's actually in here. It's an accordion. One side's lime yellow, the other side's the silver. The silver side goes up. Believe it or not, that silver, your body heat tries to escape down through the ground because the cold, the cold from the ground is sucking your body heat down hits that silver and it's like a bunch of little cups cups and radiates right back on you you put that thing down in the store go to REI anywhere put this thing down on the ground and lay on it with the silver side up and you'll feel the heat you're like oh man this is uncomfortable but at night it's very comfortable I found this iron fork and I found this in some cave somewhere Pretty cool, huh? I reconstructed them, epoxied them all back together. See, it's saying, yeah, cool, yeah, yes. So that takes care of your, your tent, your ground sheet. The ground sheet saves the bottom of your tent. It can be used separate, but put it underneath your tent. Um, let's see, your sleeping bag, your backpack, now the Z-Lite Sole Metris, that's the accordion one, I get the full size. Now on Amazon, D-Power foldable camping stove, 4.8 ounces, that's a great stove, if you look in my back, in my back videos, you can see it. It's, that's under twenty dollars. I think it's eighteen bucks. It's a great stove, really stable. You don't want to get into an eighty, a hundred dollar stove until you know if you're gonna like it. You're just gonna stay with it. So I'd go with the D Power stove. That's a canister. Those are uh, okay to use almost everywhere. This will take you to that the D Power stove, Amazon. Now besides that, all of these. You don't need links to these. You can find these. You can see what you like yourself. I recommend a headlight. You do need a headlight. A small flashlight. One or two triple A's is fine. My flashlight of choice, not because they're sponsoring me, but because it's a good light, is this Through Night T10. One triple A last forever you got a bunch of different settings but it comes with this so you've got a lamp you got a lamp or you've got a flashlight flashlight with multiple settings headlight flashlight a cook set get that off of Amazon too to start out with Mainly you want a cup, whether it be aluminum, steel, or titanium is up to you. But you want it capable of boiling up to three cups of water. Some of the backpacking meals that you're gonna be eating, most of, them, most of the meals you'll be eating to start off with are gonna be dehydrated. That's gonna be your food source. Some of the backpacking meals take two and a half, two and three quarters cups of boiling water. This way you can do it all in one, one boil. 
save yourself some fuel pour your water into the bag that becomes your your eating uh, container and then you have the cup for drinking making coffee or whatever a cheap head net go to sports chalet and get one for four or five bucks um, a bug net that goes over your whole head with a, with a pull around your neck get one big enough you can put it over a hat a baseball hat or something you need a hat um, some DEET or a small can of off mosquitoes or deer flies they'll drive you batty a hat and a, bana and a bandana bandana many 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 things you can use that for medical you name it anyway that's the basic list now any of you guys feel there's something else people are going to need go ahead and put in the comments below but keep in mind guys this is for people on a budget that is are just looking to get started but they want to get something that they're going to be able to stick with and add on later not replace you tell them to get something like the that big five tenth that's like forty nine dollars fifty bucks whatever that thing does not do good in the rain my friend Frank has one and he tried it he was soaked he was we had to get him leave in the middle of the night um, doesn't do good in the rain so he thought he was getting away by spending fifty bucks but in turn he had to end up giving that tent away and adding another hundred and fifty buying a hundred and fifty dollar tent which actually now cost him two hundred and all the frustration it's better to just go with something that's proven that works all of these have been proven over and over and over and time and time and time again if you get into this and you you don't like it and backpack is just not for you you can probably go on Facebook and you look up some backpacking barefoot uh, barefoots used gear sites different sites like that and you can probably get half to three quarters of your money back so you're not at a complete loss but you guys asked me for it that's my recommendation as you get deeper and deeper into it you're gonna get the money is gonna get sucked out of your pocket out of your paycheck this is what I recommend to start with so I'm expecting a bunch of criticism and a bunch of oh no this is wrong this is wrong it's all opinion this is 100% opinion but in my opinion backpacking for the past 15 years or so in San Gabriel's and hiking and fishing even longer than that time and time again these all have worked the only one questionable down here the people are gonna say oh no no I don't recommend that because it's brand new this deep power stove is brand new but it's based on like the MRS whisper it's almost got the same construction this one you don't even need matches just and it, it takes off now people say oh I prefer wood stoves I prefer alcohol stoves I prefer gas stoves well gas stoves they're allowed in the range but the wood stoves are no longer allowed in most areas the alcohol stoves are not allowed in most areas anymore now it is a Federal Reserve a monument and they go by the same rules as up north with the extreme drought this is your best way to go especially starting off thanks for watching